AM FM's Friday Night 2009. It's back. And this year, scarier than ever. So, very good evening. Welcome to KMFM's Friday Night 2009. I'm Ollie Kemp. I'm here with, uh, with Vanessa and Rob and Dave. And um, we're at the Black Horse Pub in Pluckley, which is proving to be interesting. I've already visited the kitchen um, earlier on this evening. It's the main kitchen to the pub. It's where you would come, and if you ordered a meal, they would make your meal and bring it out to you. So that part of the pub. What we've done now is gone into the living quarters of the pub. So this is the real heart of the of the uh, of the very old building. Now this building dates way, 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 way back. Uh, with us this evening are our two mediums, Marcus and Tamsin. Um, we are in um, an area of the pub which is beamed. It looks and smells as old as it really is, and I think. This part of the pub may have been the shower room. Yes. I mean, as soon as we've come in here and we're standing here, I sense that there's a different feel, a different energy, and I can't help feeling that I'm going to a different time, a different era. We're, we're in a time when it's got a treachery, um, it was dangerous out there, I get the sense of feeling, and I'm wondering if, if this was ever used more, I get the sense of a communal thing, there's lots of people coming or going, and I'm wondering whether this was ever a hotel, an inn, anything on that level. Do you, what do you feel about that, Tamsin? Do you get a sensation on that level? I think it was an inn, um, where, where travellers could, um, when it was still horses and carriages and things like that, and they'd be riding by, they could stop at the inn, um, feed the horses, feed themselves, um, before they moved on on their journey. So this is certainly what, oh, what we're picking up, I'm getting this really cold sensation coming over me. It feels to me like the temperature, temperature has changed in the room and I'm having problems actually speaking. I feel very uneasy. The mood of this room is certainly an uneasy one. There's plenty of activity around here. Um, yeah, when um, Mark was talking, it was very, very warm, especially around um, the bag area there. It's very, very warm around And then you move straight over to this area here and it just totally dropped in, in temperature, just really went down. Okay. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be trying making contact with any of the poltergeists that are up here. Now my first impression, I'm going to ask Tamsin to tune into this to see what she feels, but I'm getting the impression of a highwayman looking at the Definitely. outfits. Um, see what Tamsin feels on that. What, what do you feel? Yeah, there's a, there, it, it's someone dressed in like long robes with the, the pointy type hat on. That the other people used it just as an inn. He used it as a... Um, a source of because it's wood, it's stopping people and and just just it, he knew they pass through here regularly. Okay, should we see if we can conjure him so we can see if we can get some activity? Come on, if you can make contact, if you can give us a noise, let us know you're here. Try anything, just did you hear that? It sounded yeah. like. That sounded strange, I couldn't make that noise out. What did you it make was, it? It was kind of like a squeal. Um... What the? Oh whoa. My God. whoa, 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 whoa. I was about to say he's here. He's you got here. these he's here. here, and what'd you go with it, Sam? He's here. He's not particularly pleased that we know he's here, because he likes to be able to, to catch people unawares. Can I just say, since I came up here, um, as you were describing, Marcus, it's kind of a, a weird, it's sort of, um, I feel a little bit on edge, a little bit edgy, um, anxious, and Tamsin just reflected exactly what I was thinking as well. I just feel a bit queasy, a little bit lightheaded, a bit queasy, like I'm a little bit seasick or something. Yeah, like the, it's moving, it's dizzy, kind of, almost like, like, like a spinning thing. Or like you're a little bit, like you've had a few drinks. Yeah, and the room's starting to sway a little bit, yeah. And it means definitely was. Did you hear yeah. that? Yeah. I heard that. that Let me just check if there's anybody outside yeah. the door. If there's no one outside the door, that oh, 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 that was hot. Hot? That was really hot. What was it? What wow. did you touch? Oh, oh. Was it the door handle? I just touched the latch for the door to open the door, and it felt like a mixture of an electric shock and heat. Okay, so right, we're just the door. asking to make a sign. The door opened oh, and closed my on life. its own. There's no one behind right. it. We've There's got the camera, so we've got sorry. to hold on to it. Sorry, sorry. Um, Ollie touched the door handle and, and it was burning hot, was it? Do you know, as I stand here and think about the, the reaction that I had, actually, it was more of an electric shock feeling. Really? Yeah, it was less hot, but that was the initial, <gasps> it's hot. 
Um, and we've, ju we've just opened the door, and there's nobody behind it. And there was a shadow underneath. Are we seeing orbs? Come on, show yourself. Just above the shower area there, there's a flash. Make some noise. Like a green flash. Don't think it's going to come from outside because the angle it's at. No. It's above the shower. I'm getting actually some physical. <gasps> physical. What, was that? That? what was that? What was that? That was incredible. Oh, was Did everyone oh, see that? Nobody's got a camera, have they? Oh, no, no, no. no, no. It was like oh, someone was taking a bright from the That was, that was amazing. That was like a okay. camera flash. I've got that on film. I've got that on film. That was a camera flash. Right, and to Spencer. Spencer's Hello. on camera at the moment. What are you feeling? What are you seeing? Oh, um, oh my word. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, for Ant Man's last scene or something, this is something totally, totally different. We just had a, a, like a lightning flash. Is there nothing to describe it? Lightning flash. It came from like the room. almost as, it came from almost the as like the top right hand corner behind where you are, Ollie. That was very weird. I've got it on film. We'll put it online. If not tonight, if I'm up for it tonight, I'll put it online. If not, we'll do it tomorrow. It'll be online. That was, there was another one there. That was it. There was what was one. that? That was very strange. Listen, guys, what we're going to do, can we try and get some more? We're going to go back to Rob with some more text. Whoa! 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 The light's just Whoa! 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 Go to Rob now. Go to Rob. Oh. Rob, 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 Rob. There's another flash. Rob, oh, Rob, please. Are you okay? Right. You're right. One of the no, just yeah, we've oh, definitely yeah. come from different, something. different corners. Right, glass. watch yourself with the glass. Everyone yeah. Yeah. Everywhere, that's that the bulb holder. If you can imagine an old kind of kitchen uh, bulb holder, it's, it's quite low. Um, it's hanging off of it. It's a single bulb. It was like a candle bulb. Al, who's with us now, was was standing closest to it. Al's engineering the show tonight. Al. Frightening. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't I'm, expect it at all? No, not at all. Just one bang and all the lights went out. That, that was it. I've never known Al looks scared. Al is one of these guys who's just <laughs> super cool. Just If someone was hunted down here, they came to find him here. He was hiding. I don't know, no, I don't know why he was hiding, but he was hiding here and there was lots of people coming. <laughs> 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 oh! Oh! Okay. Oh! Okay. Right okay. All right, then. Okay. All right, yeah, all right. Hands up. Who was that? No, no. There wasn't. There no. was no one behind me. I stood there oh, and it hit my, the back of my oh, leg. Oh, the plug's just come off the wall. Oh my god. It hit the back of my leg. I didn't touch it. It, it It's guys, fallen. Can we just get a torch in? Can we just see <coughs> what's going on here? Please. This. Right, okay. A bottle of bio. Oh, that's some, oh, that the plug's just come off the wall. The plug's come off the wall. I don't wall. know. That, that and fell, and as it fell, it hit the back of my leg. There's no way I could have touched it. I had hold of your hand looking at you talking to you. There's no way that's I touched right. it. Were we actually picking up on, I mean there's two different energies, I've definitely got this high remnant and I know that there's been some activity as soon as we've been trying to um, beckon him, it's unlike the little boy who was a bit shy, this one he's, he's a bit more ferocious so he's been making himself very aware of us. I'm also getting a sense of something uh, much more sinister, something much, much deeper. Did you hear the footstep above us? Yes, I did, and that's where we're going to be going, and that's where I know the sinister so feeling's coming from. Is no, there, there is no one, one up there. There's nobody upstairs. Is any of the team there? No, 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 all no, no nobody's yeah. upstairs. Nobody's yeah. upstairs. I'm accounting for everybody. I can see everybody in the yeah. room with yeah. us now. Okay, so I know that there's something going on upstairs and I know that we'll be going up there later. And I feel, uh, earlier I got this really bad feeling, this really uneasy feeling of fear uh, and apprehension and I really feel that something is obviously trying to draw our attention here. 